temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Well, we found where the outlaws are camped. Oh good, you heard me. I was starting to think I'd have to walk back to that rundown shack they call a landing zone. What are you doing out here? I'm a scientist from the Nexus. I've been surveying Elodin's geography for several weeks now. And now I'm stranded on this hellhole. I take it your shuttle broke down. Well, yes and no. A few days ago, my shuttle overheated and died. Then I ran out of water. After two days without a drop, I got desperate. Ended up trading a part from my ship to some scavengers. Once the delirium subsided, I realized my mistake. Turns out I sold them my thruster, which you need to fly. Can't you just get the thruster back? Oh, I tried. Went to their camp. They laughed at me and said a deal's a deal. But you're a Pathfinder. Maybe you can talk some sense into them. Get that part back. I'll have that thruster for you in no time. Helpful and efficient. I like that. I'll give you the nav point for the camp. Be ready. They're a prickly bunch. Are you studying the sinkholes here? I'm trying to figure out what causes them. Any luck? My scans show a high concentration of calcium carbonate deep below us, high enough to create pockets of brittle rock. These pockets break down and collapse, and it causes a chain reaction all the way to the surface. Incidentally, that would also account for all this sand. Have you learned anything useful about Elodin? That depends on what you consider useful. Try me. Well, I assume you know Elodin receives constant sunlight. There is no night time. But I've found evidence of a rare temperature dip, which means the planet experiences an occasional eclipse. Can you imagine? Constant blazing sun for years, then a week of night. It must be jarring. Good luck out here.
I detect above normal temperatures. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Pathfinder, this technology was built by the scavengers. Life support at 100%. Colony will make it. There. They'll kill you for a tire if it's the right size. You hear me already. Get away from Morda. Hello, Nexus. You're back. I am. Strux tells me you went to get the drive core from my remnant ship. That's true and that you sold it to scavengers who took it off-world to make a profit. For you and them? It was gone when I got there. Not possible. I had blasting teams there day and night. Clan Nakmore is a joke. The losers of Chichanka are now the losers of Helios. Overlord Morda has lost the Drive Corps, and our colony is doomed. You're all talk, Jorgal Strux. I made this colony. If there's an overlord, they should be from the oldest Krogan blood, Clan Jorgal. Watch, I'll rescue the Drive Corps and make us so powerful that the Nexus will bow down to us. Except you can't, cause we have it. Aw, oh, Drac. I want to see how long before he hung himself. What do you mean you have it? I'll let the Pathfinder answer that. Strux played us both. Told me you were building a bomb. Told me you were planning an attack on the colony. I'm impressed, Strux. You're more cunning than most Clan Jorgal. Smarter, even. Not more arrogance. My father lowered himself to join your clan because he admired your grandfather. He was laughed at. Called not worth killing. But now I've bested you, Morda, and Clan Nakmore will pay with blood. Colony at risk over a grudge you carried across dark space? You really aren't worth killing, Dorgal Strux. Get out. Take your goons with you. Now where is the Drive core? Hand it over. Just like that? Hand it over? It's incredibly powerful. We'll use it to power the colony. This'll put us ahead by decades. Or it could do the same for Pedromos. If you keep that Drive core, it's over between the Krogan and the Nexus forever. You have to give us something for it. It's only right. We did get shot at. A lot. What about joining our colony with your outpost? Give us the Drive core, and we'll be friends. New Tachanka and Nexus. Keep it, and you've created a sovereign Krogan nation. We don't abide by Nexus laws or owe you anything. Even peace. Ryder, I must point out that historically, unchecked Krogan advancement has been the cause of war and disaster for many, even the Krogan. Well? Okay, Morda, let's work together. You can have the Remnant Drive Corps. And you can set up your outpost here, Nexus. 
We're all going to be friends and prosper, right? You bet we are. Whenever you're ready, bring your outpost people here, and they'll be welcome. This is a great day, Morda. We'll contact Addison and give her the news. Good luck, Overlord Morda. Pathfinder, this location is ideal for outpost placement. You can call an outpost via the beacon. I'm leaving. No way this colony will make it. You're saying you really love your mate. I love you enough. Don't get foolish ideas. Blue mushrooms? Bad idea. Pathfinder, when you travel, do you meet many Angara? Sometimes. Have you met one named Lietta? I don't think so. Why? She was a salvager. Made runs to Elodin all the time. When she landed, she would always stop here first. We climbed the dunes together, took in the view, talked for hours. Lietta had a hard time in this heat, so I said I'd make her a cryo bracelet. Were you two? You know. We were friends. At least I thought so. One day, she just stopped coming. I don't know where she is, if I'll ever see her again. You think something happened to her? She could have taken a new job. Maybe she was sick of Elodin. But if there's even a chance she ran into trouble, I can't stand not knowing. I could track her down for you. Make sure she's okay. We could uh, question the salvager at the Paradise. I would like that. If you find her, will you give her the cryo bracelet? Tell her she can use it to visit me again. Thank you, Pathfinder. What are you doing up here? Looking. Back home, we didn't have time to just stop and look. Is life that different here? It was all about survival. Here, we don't have to fight so hard. Of course, the older ones still think they have to fight. Maybe it's just in their blood. Sounds like Helios was an easy choice for you. New galaxy, new life. Not in.